Today we'll be using Excel to make a dynamic and color-coded risk register for our project. In a previous video, we discussed how to use the framework prescribed in ISO 31000 for project risk management. The link to that video can be found in the description below. Now we want to create an integrated risk register in Excel. We can use Excel's data validation feature to control impact and likelihood in trees, index and match functions to auto-populate risk ratings, and conditional formatting to color code our risk register. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Let's start with a small project and we can follow only four simple steps in Excel to make a dynamic and color-coded risk register for our project. Step one is to construct a project-specific risk register. We start with unique IDs and short descriptions for all risks, which can be identified in a brainstorming session with all project stakeholders. Next, we decide on a pre-mitigated mean value for each risk, which is an important component in our integrated risk register to have unified dimensions when setting contingencies. The pre-mitigated probability or inherent likelihood is chosen from our risk matrix, which is a 3x3 array in our project but can be 5x5 or even larger. Pre-mitigated impact or inherent magnitude describes the size, scale, or significance of the consequence that a risk event could have. Finally, risk rating or priority level, which is a function of impact and probability, is defined based on the risk matrix on the right-hand side of the screen. Next column is related to mitigation actions, which are proactive measures taken to reduce the likelihood or impact of identified risks. Post-mitigated probability or residual likelihood is the remaining level of chance for a risk event after mitigation measures. Similar story about residual magnitude or post-mitigated impact, which can be identified using a new risk matrix or based on the pre-mitigated one. Lastly, teams or individuals responsible for overseeing and managing a risk after mitigation actions are identified. This concludes the first step in building the project risk register in Excel. Step 2 is to define risk likelihoods and impacts based on the project risk matrix. We start with restricting the type of data that can be entered into the range of cells related to the pre-mitigated probability. This can be done using data validation feature of Excel to maintain data accuracy, consistency, and integrity. First, we select a range of cells concerning inherent likelihood, and from the data tab, we click on data validation. Then, under validation criteria, select list. Finally, specify the data source by selecting our defined likelihood values on the project risk matrix. As you can see, each cell now has a drop-down menu from which likelihood levels based on our heat map can be selected. If we try to violate the validation criteria by typing a value out of the predefined list, an error message will appear. We follow the same procedure for pre-mitigated impact or inherent risk consequences. This concludes the second step in building our dynamic risk register in Excel. Step 3 is to automate the calculation of risk ratings in the project risk register. So far, we have built the backbone of our risk register, but we may want to automatically calculate risk ratings based on the fever diagram or our risk matrix. For example, a high priority risk rating shown in red color is the product of moderate to high probability and a high risk impact. We can use index function of Excel to retrieve risk ratings from our fever diagram or risk matrix. Then, match function in Excel is used to match the identified impact of risk 1 with the row headers or impacts in our risk matrix. Similarly, match function is used to match the identified probability of risk 1 with the column headers or probabilities in our risk matrix. To implement this in Excel, click on the pre-mitigated risk rating for risk 1 and press the equal sign. Then, use the index function and make an absolute reference to the array of risk ratings in our risk matrix. Use the match function again to match the high impact of risk 1 with the row headers or impacts. Next, we use the match function to match the moderate probability of risk 1 with the column headers or probabilities in our risk matrix. The formula is then duplicated for other risks. This concludes the third step in building our project risk register in Excel. Step 4 is to color code the project risk register. Now we can better visualize risk ratings in our dynamic risk register by using conditional formatting in Excel. First, click on the pre-mitigated risk rating for risk 1 and under Home tab, select conditional formatting. Then, from the drop-down menu, select New Rule and in the pop-up window, set the rule type to format only cells that contain, which is the second option. Next, we select cell value as equal to the moderate priority in our risk matrix. And by clicking Format button, the fill color is set to yellow. Then, we choose Manage Rules and continue with a new rule of setting low priority to green color and high priority to red color. 
When three rules are defined for our 3x3 matrix, the formatting is duplicated for all remaining risks in our integrated risk register. The beauty of this four-step solution is the automatic update of risk ratings and color coding when you change the entries for impact and likelihood or enter new risks. And there you have it. An easy implementation of a dynamic risk register using only four simple steps in Microsoft Excel. Again, you can access the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.